All right, so we have a TVZ here, and I'm playing against uh, on ladder a guy named Rank, and he's got around 900 games. He's a gold level player. Gold level in Wings of Liberty 2. Pretty straightforward. Pretty good player. Um, this is on Star Station. So, taking everything I know, I'm going to try to make sure I get my third up. I'm going to try to uh, make sure I get my upgrades going. Um, supply depots. Do some good scouting. Do some hellion harass. Um, but most important, step by step, not doing anything out of turn. I gotta make sure I know what he's going for. Make sure I know what he's up to. So, start some scouting. He scouts me. And I'm he stops and hold positions here. So I immediately get the vibe. Like this guy's doing something funny. So I attack him. Send my marine out to kill him. It's dead. Send my SCV up and in. I want to see what's going on. He's not taking his expansion. And boom, I get hit with a bunch of lings. So that immediately means something's coming. Something is coming. So, abandon my normal command plan, build a factory, which is already underway. Um, and I'm going to want to wall this whole area off because I know I'm getting hit. So, bunker, eBay, second factory. That's what I decide upon because I don't want a second barracks yet. I want a second factory. So, there it is. He sees his baneling nest is on the way. So, his baneling bust is going to be fairly ineffective. Um, so he's also teching up to Muta, which generally speaking I know he saw my situation here so I have a good feeling he's not going to be busting me. But I'm still going to be cautious. I'm going to do my double Hellion push and I'm going to... I've got my eBay up so I can do turrets and such so I'm in pretty good shape and he knows I'm coming and he's got his Banes on the top of the wall so that's good on his part. He prevents me from doing any damage. So, I get killed there. In the unit lost tab, it's roughly even. Uh, but I didn't do any worker damage. But the thing is, he has one base. He's on one base. He's got the same number of workers as I do. And I've got my second base coming now that I feel secure. Triple turret on this base because I have a really good feeling there's going to be early muta. And keep building SCVs. Keep uh, building my structures. Command center, barracks, second refinery. Turret up here, turret over here. Just generally being smart about this. Um, now I'm going to send out two widow mines because I've got um, this reactored situation. I'm going to put a widow mine here and here. And I run into his lings and banes. So I got one widow mine down here. And I see this is happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait out his units. So kill the lings. I'm going to run around. I'm going to fire on these babies. And he's going for bane link speed. Again, that's not going to help. I'm going to bait him out and let my tanks do the damage. And I didn't lose much. Again, worker count. I've got my second command center. He's a little bit ahead now because he just droned up. But I'm in pretty good shape. And I've got my... Uh, he's sending his lings back because that's not going to do anything. His second is just incredibly late. It's the 11-minute mark. For Zerg, that's bad. He should have his third by the time I've got my second. My second's down. So I'm in pretty good shape. I'm not going to go kill him. I'm going to play smart. Turrets are up. Um and start building, keep building SCVs, going to 
get my upgrades. I'm going to continue more barracks, get more reactors. I'm going to get stim and combat shield on here with the tech lab. Two bunkers for the down low position, three turrets. I want to be completely impenetrable. I'm ahead, I don't want to lose. Here come the mutas. He's got lings on the way. Um, here it is. Prepare. His mutas all die. Oh, no, they don't. He does a really good save on those mutas. Nice job there, although he didn't really kill anything. So, again, ineffective. He's going to come up in here. It ain't going to work. So, mutas ineffective. And what does he know? He doesn't even know about my expansion. So. Widow mine hit. Oh, got one. So, gonna move my units out. His mutas are gonna heal. Again, 39 to 31, but I've got the mules, so I'm doing way better in the production tab, which can be seen here. I'm at 65 to 55, and that 65 units is also with three factor, uh, two factories, three barracks. Just got a lot going on here. 18 here. Now I'm going to do another command center. I'm going to do two starports. I'm going to do another barracks. I'm going to send out these two widow mines to two more bases. One here, one here. Because I know that Zerg usually doesn't expand towards you, they expand away from you. So, widow mine. And here it is, I see the base. So my Widow Mine um, is gonna, you know, it, it didn't do any damage, didn't prevent this from going down, but it lets me know where it is, which is actually really quite good. I've got Medivacs coming, I've got Stim done, Combat Shield on the way, Armor's going, my upgrades are going, um, I got Hellbats going. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop his expansion. He can't do much about it. Take a medevac, drop it. Uh, keep doing what I'm doing here. Take a second medevac. I'm just going to check around here for another expansion in case. Keep my units close. Third is down. So when I need to transfer, I can. I'm at a 9 here, 17 here. So up oh, here we go. Here's a switch. Send some guys. So this queen just took a big hit from that. Now Widow Mine, now the Queen's gonna go down. He's gonna have to send in a force to attack because I am killing his third. So, let's take a look at the attack. His third is getting his ass kicked. And look at all these Banes, and look at all these Mutas, and look at all these Roaches. And the base is down. I pick up and I'm gonna go drop his natural. Here's the hit. Back this up for a second. Okay, I've got a tank and a turret on the high ground to kill the Mutas. I got Marines. So he's gonna get one tank. I got two more tanks. Boom, Banes are down. I run my Marines back, let them do the damage on the bunkers. Bring my units in. All this is gonna die, he has to go home. In the meantime, I have a double drop going to his base. And I feel like I'm really good ahead. He's, I know, as far as I can tell, he's only on two bases. He doesn't have this one, he doesn't have this one, he doesn't have this one. I just don't feel like he's gonna be on a lot of bases at this point. Um, so I'm going to send some units out to those, um, to my expansion. I'm going to be producing more units, more supply depots, more SCVs. And I'm going to send my units out on the map. Let's take a quick look. I didn't micro these units. So let's take a quick look at what's going on here. In the income tab, it's 53 to 40. So he's got, he has 53 units. Here come my marine stimming. He's losing more and more workers more and more lanes. So, 53. He lost like 15 workers, and he used a lot of his banes. So, now I'm going to take my army. I'm at a 145 supply to his 60. Army value 43 to 14. And I'm just going to drop a widow mine, plant it, bring my army up. Got some more supply depots going. Got more marauders, marines. I've got Vikings going because I saw the um, the Corruptors, which means Broodlords are probably on the way. 
I move out. Siege up my tanks. Although I have some problem with the sieging here. I don't know why, and I shouldn't have sieged that close. Some misclicks there. Either way, got a great big force. I know I'm way, way ahead here. And that's that. I lost 3,000 to his 10,000. Killed his expansion. I wonder why he can't... Oh, he can't... When you die, it cancels. That's right. His third never got up. And, uh... Yeah. Pretty sure I was ahead on the upgrades and stuff, too. So it was a good game. Um... Take a quick look at the match history. So, worker's active. He got ahead a little bit for there, but if you look at the resource collection rate, I'm um, doing very well. And he never had any units, effectively. So he's, he kept his resourcing good, but he never had army value. I mean, his army value is less than mine, and with the composition I have, it needs to be way more. And he wants a bank. So while I had a better army value, I also had way better upgrades, way better tech. Um, he did for a little bit get more workers, but it never really got him at better resourcing than me. I had better resourcing most of the game, or even. So it's a pretty convincing victory, making sure I take my third. I'm trying to do all those things I usually don't do.